So this is why Dr. Dre is reportedly supposed to pay his ex-wife, Nicole Young, $300,000 per month in spousal support. Right? We knew this was coming. It's been brewing up for the past couple months, especially when we found out that these two did not have a prenup set in place while they were married. So we're going to read through the story. I'm going to give you my opinions on somebody, you know, being granted 300, not a year, right? A month. $300,000 per month. And the terms of this deal could be for the next 40 30, I don't know, whenever she passes away, for life. Anyways, the divorce pair reportedly had a hearing this week where they came uh, to a new yet temporary agreement. It's not the $2 million, so she didn't want it two. So essentially, she wanted $24 million a year from Dr. Dre. It's not the $2 million per month that she was seeking, but Nicole Young is inching closer to finalizing her ongoing case with the ex-husband, Dr. Dre. Technically, the former couple was officially divorced last month. However, an ongoing dispute regarding spousal support rages on. We previously reported on Nicole seeking $2 million per month, which is ridiculous. Like, uh, it's, I don't care how much money, doc, like I see uh, tweets and things out there. Well, he makes, actually, that does not make, I don't give a damn if Dr. Dre makes a billion dollars per year. Having to give somebody who you're no longer with $2 million a month for the rest of their life, unless they get married, is ridiculous. For doing nothing more than just being married to me for X amount of years. I get it. She was there for me emotionally. All those good things. But she didn't, like, make Dr. Dre. She wasn't like, uh, what's that lady's name who was with Jeff Bezos who got broke out billions? I think she helped them create Amazon and things like that. So that makes sense. But anyways, the Blast reported today, July 21st, that an agreement seems to have been reached. And according to court documents, Dre has been ordered to pay his ex-wife just under 300000 per month following a hearing this week, Dre is ordered to pay spouse support in the sum of uh, $293,306 per month, payable on the first of each month, commencing August 1st, 2021. The court order reported stated that means the aftermath mogul would dish out approximately $3.5 million per year to his ex, but this won't go on forever. The order will reportedly stay in place until the party receives uh, support, remarries, or enters into a new domestic partnership, death of either party. So, if she gets remarried, okay, so, see, people was, see, I didn't see that part. People was tweeting out that it is until she remarries or if she dies, and people was like, pretty much she's never going to get married again in her life. Because you're not going to, unless the guy that you marry is billionaire status or $100 million, like a lot of money, you're not going to pass up on an easy $3.5 million a year from your ex-husband. But new domestic partnership, does that just mean like she's dating somebody? What, what does the new domestic mean? What does that mean? These terms they throw in there, they get to kind of throwing you off a little bit. But anyways, basically until one of them dies or Nicole remarries, she'll continue to receive her check on the first of the month. Dr. Dre is reportedly also responsible for paying Nicole's health insurance and other fees, including the expenses for the Malibu and Pacific Palisade home. So not only does he have to give her 293000 he also has to cover the home that she's living in. I feel like that should come out of the $293,000, right? That should be like, hey, now, I'm not, let me say this. Let me rewind a little bit. I'm not saying that Dr. Dre should leave her ass out, kick her back to wherever she came from, or make her drastically downgrade her life. But let's come to an agreement. Let's come to, okay, here's a lump sum. Let's say Dr. Dre's worth $900 million. Here's a lump sum payment of $50 million. Well, I guess if I'm arguing that, it's the same goddamn thing. It's $3.5 million a year. Here's $20 million. Never have to pay you again. Let's separate. But I don't know. I know Dr. Dre's rich. And even if I was as rich as Dr. Dre, the overhead of knowing that you're about to pay somebody $300,000 a month, you know what you could do with $300,000 a month? It just, it's just mind-blowing to me. Now, maybe Dr. Dre came to his agreement, obviously. Maybe to him he's looking at it like, that's a steal. Because maybe in the courtroom there's a, like a – from two million to two hundred ninety-three thousand, that's a drastic and major difference. So maybe in Dr. Dre's mind, this is a great compromise for him. Maybe he's looking like this is a, this is like light money. This ain't nothing like two hundred thousand. I can spit that out my ass, just making a couple beats or whatever he does to generate wealth throughout his life. But to me, the average you know American, that just looks ridiculous to me. Especially like we're divorced, we're no longer together. Like I said, I'm not saying, like, let me, you know, put you out of your ass and have you down and out for the rest of your life. But Nicole Young is a beautiful woman, a woman. 
She was Dr. Dre's wife. I can assure you, if she does not want to work or do whatever, there will be plenty of suitors coming after her to kind of pick up where Dr. Dre left off. So anyways, uh, according to the blast, even this order could be temporary as a former couple who was married for two and a half decades. Oh, damn, they was married for 20 years. Continue fin financial negotiations. There's still alleged talks in the cover scene with a lump sum. And if so, she could see those three in the monthly checks come to a screeching halt in the future. Following his brain aneurysm earlier this year, Dre reportedly gave his wife $2 million. There have been rumors and photos suggesting that the mega producer has moved on and is allegedly dating April Jones, which is a loving hip-hop girl. Who is this? This is the wife? Oh, it's April Jones. I was like, the wife look good if she's two and a half decades. You know, she's doing all right. But anyways, maybe this is just my, and I, and I definitely don't want to say broke because I'm not broke. But my not hundred million, damn near billionaire mind thinking about this. Because obviously a lot of people in the comments as well, this article, 30,000, no likes, all downvotes for this article, think that that's kind of ridiculous to get somebody $300,000 per month because we're married for 20 years. But like I said, I'm not in the courtroom. So Dr. Dre may be hearing people say this, he was like, Little do y'all know, this is a steal for me. I shit $3.5 million. Like, I just open, I just open, uh, what are the things, what what artists get? I just open a royalty check with $20 million, like monthly with $20 million. This is nothing to me. Maybe that's how he looks at it. Maybe he looks at it as a steal. So if it's a steal for Dr. Dre, this salute to Dr. Dre for getting it down from $2 million to $300,000. But, if Dr. Dre does not want to pay this 300000 then, you know, Dr. Dre keep fighting and keep pushing. But let me know what you think in the comments section down below. If you were mega wealthy and you had to give up $300,000 a month to your ex, how would you feel about that situation? Me thinking about it in my situation, I don't know. Maybe I'm being hypocritical. I think I might be being hypocritical now that I'm thinking about it. Because I have a wife. And we have a child. So if we were together for 20 years, and I was a multi, damn near billionaire, this, this okay, this is, what, this is my thing. I will support you. Here, this is what I'll say. I would support my ex if we ever got divorced, and I was a multi, multi, multi-millionaire, damn near billionaire. I just don't feel like I should be obligated to give you X, Y, and Z money. Like, we lived in a mansion, have the mansion. You want the car? Have the car. You want a little bit of money for food? Here's a, a actual amount of money that you can use to sustain your lifestyle. I, now, if, if Dr. Dre and his woman are blowing through three hundred thousand dollars a month on lifestyle, more power to them. But let, let's really budget it down. How much money do you really need to live your life? Especially like I'm already paying like the, the payments for the house, the Palisades and Malibu aren't even tied into two hundred ninety three thousand. Your health insurance, I got that. What do you want? You want groceries? Okay. You want to go on vacation? Cool. I don't think that equals up to $293,000 a month. I just don't think so. But like I said, let me know you guys in the comments down below. Make sure you go check out all the other videos that I have posted uh, for today. I'll see you guys next time. It's your boy, D-Friend. Peace.